For centuries, everyday life in China has been a riddle. This program brings us closer to an understanding of its human rhythms. Many people of Mu's generation are haunted by the specter of their turbulent youth. He has brought his daughter here to learn a lesson from the past. Uh, here to accept are producer Peter Ansorge, deputy head of drama for Channel 4 England, and from National Geographic Television, Nicholas Noxon, executive producer. Uh, many people were essential to this film. Uh, Charlotte Ashby, Nikki Olroyd, David Dickey, George Fenton, uh, but, and especially and uniquely Phil Agland, creator, writer, producer, director, and hands-on cameraman. Uh, there's hardly any time to say enough about Phil. In many ways, he combines the attributes of Fred Wiseman, David Lean, and Charles Dickens. The result is unique and quite wonderful. We will, I know, be hearing and seeing a lot more from Phil, and I can hardly wait. Uh, today, we thank him, the National Geographic, our co-producers, WETA, PBS, especially PBS, the only place where China Beyond the Clouds could be seen at its best. And uh, thanks to the Peabody Committee, and I'm especially happy to be here today because last year my wife Nikki received a Peabody, and today she's here with me. Thank you all. Uh, you may wonder what the deputy head of drama at Channel 4 is doing picking up a documentary award. It's probably a tribute to our cost-cutting effort uh, that our best producers are always hard work at making programs like Phil Wagland, and we are free to, tra to travel the world picking up awards on their behalf. But I know that uh, my chief executive, Michael Gray, would be disappointed if I didn't point out three quick things to you about Channel 4. Firstly, uh, we're not the BBC. Uh, <laughs> we're David, and they're Goliath. And Goliath is looking a little weak at the knees at the moment. Secondly, we're the only public broadcaster in the world that is not dependent on government subsidy for its fundings. All our revenue comes from advertising. And all that money is able to be spent on programs rather than going into the pockets of shareholders uh, for my third reason. Namely, the very public and courageous battle that Michael Grade and his colleagues fought against the privatization of Channel 4. They did not simply lie down, think of England, and take what was coming to them. They stood up in public, screamed, shouted, chewed up the carpets at the House of Commons until even Mrs. Thatcher gave in. And the fact that we're here today sharing in three splendid Peabody Awards shows that it can be done. Thank you. <laughs> 